Good morning, you guys. So I just filmed an intro and I'm refilming it because I wasn't recording. I was literally talking your ears off too, but that's fine. That's fine. I have stuff I can say still. Uh, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jazzy. Today it is two days before Christmas for you guys. It's actually way further like it's not way further. I'm actually only like a couple of days behind you guys. But so I still have like a good five days till Christmas. But I don't have that many days. Let's be real. So which I've been loving this year. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I have been loving being a little ahead of things for my videos. I don't know if it's as enjoyable for you guys. But you guys none of you have complained about my videos this year. So that's amazing. And it's just been so much less stressful for me having like being a couple days ahead knowing that I don't have to edit the video the night before it goes live the next day like knowing that I have the video that goes live the following day knowing I can film all the way up until I'm in bed which usually during vlogmas you guys know I usually try to finish the video before I go to bed because I have to edit it before I go to bed so I can go live the next day so it's just been really nice being just a couple videos ahead and the reason that I've been is because I had those couple of hauls that I had go live um like as a vlogmas video and it's just been very helpful I I literally just realized <laughs> with this headband on you guys I I match first of all which I love I love that it matches my um two-piece set that I got from Invaland I should link it down below because it is the best set I'm obsessed with this set but I always think Mean Girls when I look at this set so because it reminds me of like the Mean Girls jumpsuit that the mom wore in Mean Girls but right now with the headband it's reminding me of cheetah girls <laughs> it's giving cheetah girls vibes right i just feel like it's that you know when they had the cheetah print like headband and then the cheetah print outfit it's i don't know i'm loving it i'm here for it i love cheetah girls i actually sang i did i sing a cheetah girl song i think i sang a cheetah girls song for a talent show one year that's weird i, I don't know why we did that <laughs> But me and four of my friends in elementary school <laughs> sang a Cheetah Girls song. If I can find a picture of it, I'll put it on screen for you guys because we all dressed up. That was, okay, so that, that's something I didn't expect to get on this topic right now, but here we are. Um, that is something that I have struggled with, it, or not struggled with, but I remember even then as a young girl, literally in elementary school, having to go to the plus size section to pick out my clothes for that cheetah girls concert and one of the girls actually changed their outfit like for me so that we can match i think if i remember it right hopefully i have a picture of it um but i might have to blur, blur out their faces because i'm not friends with any of them anymore i mean they're all great but we don't really talk anymore so i don't want to just like put their picture of them as a kid on <laughs> youtube but oh, I, I wish i could though because it's so cute i'm going to and then i'll ask for forgiveness later if they say that <laughs> if they see it and tell me i need to take it down or i'll just like bl i'll I'll just cut it out at some point but anyway such a cute picture if I can find it I will post it they've all posted it on social media so I think they'll all be fine with it but uh anyway this reminds me of that cheetah girls cheetah girls what were we singing in that song I don't know what song we sang I wish I could remember what song we sang it's I think it was no it wasn't there is no one else and I can say this to you no I don't think so maybe it was I don't know but anyway Back to what I was saying originally. <laughs> originally, I was telling you guys that Dom... Did I even say this yet? I, I told you it in the one that I recorded earlier, but I actually don't think I've talked to you guys about it yet because I obviously wasn't recording earlier. Actually, I was just talking to myself. <laughs> but Dominic last night was like, hey, like, am I getting anything for Christmas? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> you are... <laughs> And he is like I obviously just forgot. <laughs> like I didn't forget. I have a gift. I have one gift for him so far for Christmas. But it just Christmas came so fast this year, and we have a budget this year. So because we went to Italy, we both decided we were gonna set like a, a relatively small budget for Christmas. So I was like, it won't be hard to find him things within budget. Like I'll probably be able to fill up what he can get uh, eventually pretty soon. You know, I, I thought I'd be able to fill it up pretty fast. But now we're five days out and like literally you guys we have only so many days for me to get him his gifts so he asked me that last night so naturally <laughs> it reminded me that i also haven't been to hobby lobby so you may be thinking that i would be going shopping for him right now but instead 
I am at Hobby Lobby <laughs> because I haven't made any trip to Hobby Lobby this whole entire season and I just want to check it out. I, I want to check it out. They might not have very much left because like I said, it's Christmas in five days, but we will see. I'm hoping that they do have some fun things in there. So I'll bring you guys along to see what they have. And then I got to do some online shopping for him because we know I'm not going into any other stores. I'm really not. I really am not in, in the mood to go into stores. I don't know why I picked today to go to Hobby Lobby either because it's been pouring rain all morning. It, I'm sure you guys could tell at the beginning of this video, but it started like it's, it's let up now. So it's clear. So I'm going to go in now while it's clear. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be clear when I get back out and I can talk to you guys. Oh, I forgot. I I'm gonna put lipstick on too um but if it's not then i will just talk to you guys when i get home but oh also you guys i was gonna tell you this morning i sent a couple voice memos to a couple of my friends and i just need to recommend you guys do that sometimes <laughs> because first of all voice memos are amazing and second of all like I, I only send them to two of my friends, two of my friends that I've, I've been thinking about for a long time, but like, I haven't taken the time to reach out to them. Um, and so I sent them each a voice memo this morning at like 7am, which was a little crazy, but <laughs> they both responded right away. Like I was so worried that they wouldn't respond. And you guys, this person has probably been waiting. I'm going to put my lipstick on while he gets out. So I don't, he doesn't have to worry about being on camera. Because it's not a good feeling when you're not someone that likes being on camera and you have to be on camera. It's not the vibe. All right. There we go. Um, but anyway, the hell was I saying? Something about the voice memos. Oh, yeah. They both responded immediately. I sent it to them and I was like, <laughs> I was like in my head, like, you're probably not going to get a response, <laughs> to be honest, because people don't usually like listen to voice memos, especially if they're long. And I send some long, I can send a lengthy ass voice memo. I've actually been talking to Elena all day today, too. And she just sent me a five minute voice memo. And she's like, I guess we're not going to have a phone call today because we're going to spend all our time voice memoing, which we typically do anyway. But Anyway, they both responded right away. Literally, like, this morning, I sent it to them, and they both responded almost immediately after I sent it. And they both were, like, scared something was wrong when they got the voice memo, which, <laughs> you guys, seriously, don't, like, just voice memo people on a whim. That was a little crazy of me. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go in now. Oh, but I do have another, one more story to tell you guys. So my mom was telling me she went to get her hair cut today, and this guy that was cutting her hair was telling her, like, this story. And I guess he was just, like, telling my mom all all about his sex capades <laughs> and my mom was like I don't know if I give off that energy that like this is a, this is what I want to hear but I guess she had a real good time with him not not like that <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go in now you guys I, I clearly in rare form today but I'll see you guys after I get done and I'll just I'll bring you along so you'll see what's going on in there too you guys everything is 70% off so this is a joy sign that I have from like a long time ago and it would be Let's see how much it would be now. I'm sure I paid, I probably paid 50% off when I bought it, but it would be $12.99. It's so freaking cute. I literally love our joy sign. We actually haven't put it up yet this year though. <laughs>
how cute is this little gingerbread house? I'm so frustrated that it is broken because I feel like they're probably not gonna give me a like better discount than 70%. I can't imagine they'll discount it more. I feel like I if I just use like a like snow or something, it'll be fine, but I don't know. We're in the elimination round right now. <laughs> I know we all do it for when we're shopping at places like Hobby Lobby. So I'm figuring out how much each thing is going to be and separating them by things I'm going to keep, things I'm not keeping, which I'm very sad about almost everything over here, honestly. Actually, I am keeping this. Um, things I'm keeping and things that I might keep. So that's what we're dealing with right now. <laughs> and it's very hot in here, so I had to take my jacket off. I was planning on getting this because we broke the arm off of ours, but I just noticed that the nose is broken off of this one. And also the scarf a little bit reminds me of All Too Well, which gives me bad thoughts. So we're not, we're not getting this one because the scarf that we have is tan. I don't know why this one's red. So I was going to get my mom this book, but I'm pretty sure I might have got her it last year. I can't remember if I didn't get it for her. I feel like somebody got it for her, but I still think I might buy it. <laughs> But I do think that if I gave it to her last year, that could be a little bit interesting. <laughs> but this is everything that I'm bringing back. So I have to go put everything back because don't worry, I'm not leaving it. Oh, my stuff, I need that. Uh, I'm not leaving it here. I'm going to go bring everything back to where I got it because I actually remember where I found everything. Um, and then those blankets I'm going to put back in the cart too because I'm not going to get those either. So we're just going to do a little tribute to all the all the things I'm not getting, which is very upsetting. But... We don't have the money for it, you guys. So we just we just shop for fun. I was gonna get this for um, Aria Breeze Baby, but I know I'll never send it, so she's not getting that apparently. And then this I'm still on the fence about. Uh, it's twelve dollars and ninety nine cents. So I think that's a steal. I'm gonna buy this. Okay, we're good. I've convinced myself. <laughs> you guys, it is so much later now. I feel like I was in there for. I was probably in there at least two, maybe three hours. So that happened, but it was a good time. I did end up weeding out some things that I decided I didn't want in the end. Um, well, I didn't really necessarily decide I didn't want them. I really did want them, but I was just like, I already have so many signs for my house. Like I don't really need any more signs. So I got rid of most of the signs and that was a bummer because they were a good deal. But then, you guys, it was popping today. Literally every single line had a person that was checking people out, first of all. And then second of all, like, people were just cutting. Like, I was just like... <sighs> I get it because I was kind of in a rush too low key because it was it was taking me a long time in there <laughs> so I too was kind of feeling like you know I'm ready to get this show on the road but at the same time like I'm not going to cut in front of a freaking handicapped person like I'm not like I don't understand these people that were like trying to just maneuver themselves but whatever everybody has their thing but the lady behind me was so sweet she uh told me she loved this color on me at the end she uh finally like we finally talked she was very friendly though the whole time but when I say finally talk like I mean we were standing in line for a good maybe 
maybe a half an hour, maybe 40 minutes together just in the same spot. There was only one person in front of us. I don't know. Something was going on. So we didn't talk the whole time, but she was definitely friendly because she was talking to all the other people around us. I think I just gave off a vibe probably that I wasn't really in the mood to have conversation because truthfully I wasn't <laughs> because it was just I'm tired and <laughs> I was ready to get the show on the road. And I knew I was going to be spending money. You know, I was kind of starting to think maybe I'll just leave it all <laughs> because it was it was a madhouse in there. But at the end, she um, tried to put her stuff on the thing. And I was like, oh, yeah, go for it. You can put everything on there. I don't care. Um, and then she was like, by the way, like that color is your color. That is so cute on you. It's one of my favorite colors. And it was just so sweet. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, you're so sweet. So, yeah, that put me in a good mood. That lifted my spirits at the end because, I mean, I'm telling you. It was a lot. It was a lot. And the girl that, like, the lane I was in, the girl was just, like, so ca super casual, like, super chill. And, like, was in no hurry, really, which was fine, obviously, especially if you're not in a rush. And I wasn't, really. At the end of the day, I wasn't in a rush, but I was just kind of, I was also kind of like, okay, come on, let's go. But I guess that's a New Yorker in me. But it was a good time, anyway. So, I ended up getting a ton of stuff. I still spent $75. So, I did still spend a pretty penny in there. And I I don't know if I'm gonna have time to show you guys at all. So if I don't show it to you today, I'll show it to you tomorrow or at some point during Vlogmas, but I gotta get home. I'm so hungry. I did not eat lunch. Like I haven't eaten anything barely today because it's three already. I think I came here at noon. Maybe I might've been in there even longer than three hours now that I think of it. I was in there a long time. So I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna freaking eat because I'm so hungry. And then if I talk to you guys later, I do. If not, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I feel like I got a lot today. So I'm just gonna wrap this video up here and then tomorrow I will show you guys all of the stuff that I got because I just feel like I'm tired that's really the bottom line is that that was exhausting and then to come out of there without much like I got a lot but like I didn't end up getting a lot of the stuff I really wanted to get um and I didn't end up getting my mom the hot cocoa book because it they were ringing it up at $17.99 and it was in the section that was supposed to be 70% off but I guess because it's a book it wasn't sorry I'm trying to figure out this it's very steamy in here it's looking a little crazy in here right now but um oh that's not gonna work for you guys you won't be able to hear me anymore but I didn't end up getting that so that was kind of a bummer and I didn't end up getting the sign so really at the end I only got like two or three things for myself like this sign that is gonna go over our bed so like I'm, I'm just a little bummed if I'm being honest because I spent a lot of time in there it was a good time don't get me wrong but I should have bought some a couple more things but I already was kind of like eh, at the total so it is what it is I'm sure I got charged full price for some things because I didn't realize certain things were full price like the book but luckily I was watching her ring them up and I saw that the, she rung up the book full price so I was like mm, don't think we're gonna be able to do that and now I definitely don't think my mom owns that book <laughs> because there's no way that I spend $17.99 on that book and I don't think she would either so Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up here. I love you guys so much. Thank you for coming to Hobby Lobby with me. And I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>